Hello there and welcome to the new dashboard tutorial for project management. And as you can see, what I have created is a very simple, straightforward, yet effective project management dashboard, which is showing us some of the high level KPIs, as well as a detailed information about our project, the different project names, uh, the project types, as well as if you want to add a couple of more information or any other field based on our needs, we can add that. And down there, you will see the dates information as to what those dates are and uh, uh, how the activities are scheduled, how many number of days or duration that each particular activity has. So for example, this Creative Media Industry 4 project uh, is basically a type of facilities project and it has uh, 200 as a duration and you can see the priority is low. So it reveals a lot of information about this. Also at the top you will see you have very clearly written yet attractive with this color theme the KPIs that you have. Right now the, the main KPI that we have is the total budget, total expense, total duration, total expense. However, this can be the same or different based on your needs. Also, we can make it more attractive, but I thought since I'm preparing this more from a beginner's perspective, let's go with the design with a simple design as well as the KPI with a simple design. So apart from this, apart from the KPI and the main chart, you can see these legends which is present here. And then you have this, this uh, three lines, which is nothing but the filter over here. So if I just click it over here, it gives us the filter of project manager where I can select any project manager. So for example, if I select James Porter or maybe Jim Jones or maybe Sean Thomas or Sophia uh, here, the dashboard is updated accordingly to show the project related to the Sophia Quinn. And we can also filter by the project name that is present here. So this is very quickly about at a high level how the dashboard really looks like. And, uh, and we will see step by step how easy it is to create this simple dashboard, which is giving you a high level view to your management about each project by their respective project name or by the project manager. All right. So before we move ahead, let's look at the data. All right. So here we have the data and uh, you can get this data in the description and uh, the data is here with the name PM or the project management data for dashboard. And here we have the end date, location, overall project health, what is the priority, what is the project ID, who is the project manager, the project name, the project type, start date, status, whether it's in, in progress, on hold or what it is, percentage completion, what is the budget, expense, latitude, longitude as to where this particular project is going on from location. So even if you see location is also a part of this project where using the map or maybe any other chart we can use, we can even create more visualization. But the main thought process I have is to go slow, go easy yet effective. All right. So this is a very simple data set that we have. And what we have done is we have brought in this data set into tab. So let's go there. Okay, so I'm back here in Tableau and I will press escape to come out of the presentation mode, which I was earlier in this presentation mode or F7 is the keyword. So here in the data source, if you will see, we have the same data source, which I have shown you over there, same columns and everything. Uh, what I have done from my perspective or from what basically I do whenever I create such examples for you or maybe any dashboard is first I have a look at the data within the spreadsheet itself. I don't come to even Tableau. First, I start with the Tableau for the Excel spreadsheet. I look at, okay, looking at this data set, uh, what should be the KPIs? Now, nobody is asking me. I'm just creating these examples from you. But from my experience, I started thinking, okay, what is, what could be, the the measures which will be of interest so definitely budget how much budget we have how much we have made an expense out of these budget what is our completion rate things like those i i basically think uh, for a couple of minutes in my mind at a high level and then create these kpis so first kpi is this is the total budget that means the total budget we have across the projects so over here if you see we have i'm using a color theme uh, so if i just right click and click on format title and go inside this to show you the color. This is the color coding which I am using 03C8C8. As you can see, I tried with many different color themes 
and I what I found is this looks really soothing and good for the eye. So I picked up this one. So this is the color code 03C8C8. You will see that most of the time I'm using this color coding. Um, then on double click, if you will do, I have this total budget formatted as tabloid bold. 15 is the font and white is your font color. So what we got is this. And then with the KPI, what we have is the simple sum of budget. If you see the budget is something which I put it over there. The only thing which I've done is the formatting. If you will see, you will come over here and click on the format and on the currency, I've chosen this and I'm showing no decimal places because when the budget is so high, there is no point in choosing the the, the decimal points. And then I've added two filters, which I'm showing in the front end, which is the project manager and the project name. Now the similar settings is applied over here in the KPI 2 where we have the expense and expense is coming again on the text and it's been again formatted as a dollar or the USD currency and the same header. Everything is same. So what I've done is I've created just first sheet formatted it completely completely as to what I want to sh uh, basically show in my four different KPIs. And then I'm just duplicating the KPI and ch changing the measure and formatting it. And that's what you will have to do. In KPI three, that duration by default, you will going to get the sum of duration. How, however, the duration should always be here in the average. Okay. And uh, there should be a question which may come to you. If you have seen my previous video, this may be a repetitive one, but I will still ask if an interview you are in and somebody will ask, okay, how will you going to change the default measure of uh, within the tab view? So for example, whenever you pick expense, duration, budget, it will always going to be the sum. So how will you change that? Well, take a pause and think about it. Well, if you have got it good, if you have not, here is the answer. You come here in the expense and uh, you have these default properties and in the aggregation you have some so if you change it to average whenever you will pick the expense field and put it anywhere within the tableau it will going to take average instead of some so this is the default property or default aggregation which is applied change it based on what your needs are so this is this should be your answer whenever somebody is asking you or if you are an interviewer then ask someone and figure out whether they know little these details about tablet because this this makes the entire development really efficient all right enough of that uh, let's move on to the fourth kpi which is average percentage completion and it's formatted in percentage via the same process and over here if you see i have not changed the total expense so what i need to do is i need to change this to completion percentage so that's what we want to show kpi 3 total duration is fine i think expense is fine and budget is fine okay uh, now what we have done is produced a gantt chart very simple uh, what we have taken is basically the start date and project name and i changed the type to gantt chart and then on the sum what i have added is the duration duration is nothing but the duration between the end date and start date. So if I just go inside this calculated field, which I created, this is the end date minus start date calculation. It can be as simple as this, or it can be more complex based on the complexity that you are handling. So if you find any problem or anything regarding your scenario, let me know in the comments, if possible, I'll try to help. Or if I know, probably I will just try to share my knowledge with you. Uh, so here, uh, when I put the duration on the size, it it basically creates that length of the bar chart or le that length of the bar and shows when the length is small like 35 days it's a small bar and when the length is very big it like 294 in this case the very big bar and then over here it's just 147 days and this has been further color coded these bars have been further co color coded based on the priority that means darker the color higher the priority so and then lower the color very less priority so for example like this one it has a very low priority so this is the basic setting which has been done and then we have come to the dashboard the first section in the dashboard is the uh, is the title or is the text component which you will drag once you will drag it it will going to take the entire space but don't worry uh, what you can do is after entering this title if i just double click over here 
uh, you will see that it's the same tableau semi bold 30 is the size and white is the background so once you will drag the text component from here to the page it will going to take the entire space but as soon as you will going to take the second component which is in this case is the horizontal uh, pane just below to the text that which will come near about here so if i have to show you this is the text uh, i will just write for you just so that you can easily see project management dashboard i will just increase the size to 20 and uh, for the sake of convenience i'll just add this so it is taking the entire shape that's what i was referring to and when i will take the horizontal over here it is now picked up the last piece. so i'm just dragging it up from the border and then i will start dragging the kpis and once so for example let me just drag the kpis and uh, kpi 2 kpi 3 and kpi 4 at the last okay and then what i can do is i can either take one more horizontal or vertical or i can directly take the gantt chart and come literally at the end and i will just make this floating all right and i will put this over here drag this down priority uh, drag this up till the end and drag this up you will see that priority is coming similar to that uh, chart which I was having earlier and I will drag this up a little bit and I will drag this up here and we have the same chart which we were showing only thing is this formatting is not present and the formatting is very simple I've shown you the color code and everything so as you can see like within 10 minutes we have or almost like 12th minute we are here but we have this this dashboard completed or this dashboard at least in a stage where we can show it now the last piece which is remaining is the filter over here so the filter is basically present in any of these uh, options so i will just right click and uh, not right click i'll go to this drop down and uh, view sorry the filters and i will see what filters i want so i want project manager so project manager is here and then again i will go to the filters and project name and then i will change this to a multiple value drop down and i will change this to multiple value drop down and then to get this effect which is this show hide button what i'll do is i will select this area in the end so you see this this area which is sort of uh, diagonal lines you need to select this and uh, come over here and make it floating okay once you make it floating you can put it anywhere you want the right location and then again come here and click add show height button so now the show height button is here once you will press the alt key i'm using the windows or this key this uh, not the mac but the windows so i'm pressing alt key and clicking here so now it has removed or it is hidden now once i go into the presentation mode i click here and i select any of my uh, person over here the information is being updated now one setting is already been done into the filters and i'll just show you so if i press alt and press here so in dashboard mode you have to press alt to enable or to show these values so if i select any filter go inside it make sure you have this option enabled all using this data source otherwise this will going to work only to that particular kpi once you will select all using this data source so all these sheets all these sheets which is using this data source will going to use or will going to get an impact based on the filter that you are create you have created so again i will press alt and click on here it's hidden i'll go in the presentation mode and i have this dashboard and which is so this is a very simple dashboard in within 15 minutes i've done with my all the presentation so just my idea is how you can start with a dashboard like this and get the maximum output once you are done now it is an iterative process i don't say that uh, the work is finished here this is the starting however uh, once you will show it definitely there will be a feedback definitely there will be more requirement as to what we want to add in more from filters perspective what we can add from the location perspective i showed you the location information is present as well as some more custom requirement which will enable you to create more calculated fields or parameters 
but this is more around how the business requirements turn out one after another as an iterative process. So that's about it and I'll now meet you in the next topic with some new dashboard.